All right, I've just opened the door at 605 Roslyn. So as you walk in, we have a living space, living area. We've got overhead light right here. You can see they've done some painting. Uh, I think they've just changed colors. I don't see a repair. Wood burning fireplace. And you see this is original hardwood to the house. The house is older, but the hardwood is, uh, it's got some wear. It looks like they may have a dog or they may have had a dog. You see this is a dining area. Not a huge dining space, but they've got a four top here, so can give you an idea of what you could do. The kitchen has some updates. It's got a ceramic flooring in, and then they've got a ceramic tile backsplash going up underneath the cabinets surrounding it. Formica countertop and the porcelain sink. These are nice. Built tough. Original cabinets. Um, you know, you could do some updates if you felt like this isn't the look you were looking for, but you see they've got probably the original hardware. They've done a change there because they've updated it with a microwave. This probably just had a fan over it, over the uh, oven. So they put an update in there because they've hung a, a microwave and they had to put new cabinets in. The only problem with that is it doesn't match the rest of the kitchen. But they did give it in a modern amenity, so that's nice. This opens up into an area for laundry, washer and dryer. Through this is probably going to be an HVAC system because of this air vent. These air vented, uh, yep. So it's the HVAC, not a storage closet. Do you have room for one? There's your electrical box. They've got some updated lighting in here as well. I will do a video, this, this door goes out to the back. It's fenced in backyard, but I will do a video of that separately and get you a look at the neighborhood. This video will focus on just the inside and interior of the house. So as you walk through this living space, you've got a bedroom immediately to the left. It looks like they got a baby. Not a bad size room, scale of the room, and it's not huge, but um, they're using it for their nursery. And they've got some, you know, their own decorations. The shelving could come down if you didn't like it. I mean, why would you need it, right? It's like it's cartoon comic book strips or something. It's pretty cool. All right, it must be a little boy, maybe. As the hallway opens up, you've got bedrooms off of it. Linen closet. Actually, it's a pretty good sized closet, but it's shelving in there, so you've got lens. Coming through there, you have bathroom, which has been updated as well. It's got the ceramic, once again, the, the tiling going up high. Pedestal sink. Looks like an updated uh, toilet. Maybe not original toilet. That's a medicine cabinet fogged windows so you don't see in while you're in here. So they've enclosed the, the shower with this really nice um, ceramic tiling. It goes all the way to the ceiling, which is great. That's an original tub. As you can see, the, gl the glue lines from when it had the sliding glass door and they've taken that out. Right. Back into the hallway, we're going to go into the next bedroom. Same hardwood floor throughout. I'm going to stand in the entryway to show you the scale of this room. This is the realtor's feet. Updated windows in the house as well. Show you the closet. It's just a standard closet. It's also nice as this room has overhead light and fan. 
hall access, uh, I'm sorry, hall uh, has the attic access, so it's a pull down. Now, this looks like a vinyl or a laminate floor. You see, there's a kick plate there. So, uh, I saw that in front of the house. They have extended off of this house. So, what they did was, instead of going off the back of the house to give them more living space, they went to the left. And so, the original end of the house is probably where this wall ends. And this was all a wall. And this is not, back here, is not part of the original house. And what they've done is they've extended off the house for a very nice, large master or owner suite. Got the fan in this section, so they have two fans. The length of the room. And then they've done some sort of uh, updated cool little desk area, which is obviously not part of the house. It's their furniture. They put some nice cane lighting in the corner. So yeah, this is all addition. And because they did that addition, they were able to add a closet. Some track lighting there as well. And then they have storage here with LED lighting. And then we have a walk-in closet. Straight back is your ensuite. So the ensuite is going to be much more, uh, you know, updated than the other. So you see the nice soaking jetted tub. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty awesome. You got the vanity to the left, updated lighting. Realtor, and then you have your own bathroom or your own, sorry, room for your John. Not sure what what that is. I've never seen anything like that, but I'm not touching it because it's a toilet. So I'll have to find out what that little lever does. And then this is cool. Wow, I mean, they dropped some money in this place in this area because this this bathroom. I mean, fully enclosed shower. And they got the crank windows. So there's a lot of money being put into this section of the house, no question. Floor changes, obviously, because of the addition. All right, we'll go out here and check out the outside. Probably got another realtor out here waiting for me, so I'm gonna let them in. How you doing? I'm good. I'm doing a video. I'm done inside. Me too. I'm doing a video. <laughs> well, I, I can swap with you. I'm going to do the outside now. Okay. I'm Kathy Macklin, by the way. Kathy, yeah. I think we've talked before. I, I think we have. Maybe we even done a deal. I'm Clay. Clay Patchett. Yes, we did do it. You were the easiest guy to do a deal with. Awesome. My, yes, my clients are hearing that. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to call them and yeah. do it. No worries. Yeah, do your thing. And uh, it's good to see you, Kathy. Good to it's a good day to go show, isn't it? It is. I'd rather be playing. Right. Uh -huh. We'll do the work now and go play later today. All right. All right. <laughs> so positive. All right. So it's vinyl, vinyl uh, around the house, and then the backyard is fenced in. We have a two-car garage back here. And that's the exit door that we saw interesting look I don't know what that door is because that was bathroom huh so it's on a crawl space what does this go to is this storage maybe storage what I don't get it <laughs> okay so that's cool. You've got an outside bathroom. You don't got to go inside here, man. Just come to this side of the house. That's pretty cool. That is something else right there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Fenced in backyard. Actually, they've done a really nice job making this nice little cozy fire pit. It's cool. Let me 
you see here at the back end, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty old now. It's getting, losing some age here. I'm getting some age on it, but tree house. A lot of good times were had there, I bet. No. <clears throat> That's a big space back there. I just thought I'd show it to you. I don't know who it belongs to. I don't believe it belongs to these people, so. Big old open space. The garage looks like it needs some, some love. Uh, you can see the guttering's got some plants growing in it. <laughs> but garages are sold as is. They're not gonna spend a lot of time focusing on that. Um, Yeah, garage has definitely got some stuff going on with it. You see above here that you've got insulation falling down. Looks like they have some sort of blower in here. This is a backspace, I bet it's a workshop. It is. So it's a wood workshop. Um, it's got electricity to it. All manual garage doors. Some wear on the back side of the garage. The insulation. I'm gonna do a video next of the neighborhood, kind of show you what's going on with the neighborhood. It's a cool house. It's different. Um, looks like they got a banana tree growing off the right side of the house too. <clears throat> Next video will be me driving around, I'm showing you the area. Now this street, there are houses under construction. We've got, it looks like three houses being flipped. Uh, we got a can over there, somebody's got in that house. And now down the road we have two more. It's a short street, maybe 10 houses on it. The neighbor is actually getting their house um, gutted as well. 